Simon here. Welcome to part two of the Bannercross Mearsbrook Hunters Bar Marathon route. Um, we're just heading up Macon Bank here. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, my first flat in Sheffield was just on the right here. And anyway, that was back in 1974. So it's a pretty stiff climb up from Macon Bank. The, uh, the routes we went down in video one um, were actually a little bit easier to go up, but we just thought we'd uh, have a bit of variety here. So at the end of Macon Bank, we're going to be turning left and that will be onto Moncrief Road. It's flattened out now, so it's not so bad. Cut some wind noise there. Plenty of wind noise on the original videos. Okay, going left on Longcreef Road, and you're coming up to another edge of traffic lights. Quite a handy little spot to stop for a chat just on the right there by the lights with some seats. And this is a nice little shopping centre in Nether Edge. There's a couple of cafes, there's Zed's whole food shop, a few bits and pieces, laundrette. And coming up, cafe number nine on the left. This is the way we came down in video number one, but we're going to turn right now onto Byron Road. Byron Pub on the left, that's a bit of a popular sports pub mostly. Make sure you take the next left. If you don't take the next left, you'll find it's a cul-de-sac at the top of the road, so you'll just have to come back down again. Okay, Oak Hill Road. You might remember the Brinkliff Oaks pub used to be on the left. It's now some new houses. And you might be thinking, oh, have I got to go up that hill straight ahead? Well, thankfully, no, you haven't, because we're going to turn right here and go up another hill. So that's Union Road we're on there. So we know it isn't, we're coming up to Union Road. gets a wee bit steeper as you get to the top. You can see I'm working a bit on standing up on the pedals to get up there. But thankfully not for too long. Finally, now we're there, and this is Union Road turning right here. On your left here, there's the old Nether Edge Hospital site, which is still, which is mostly a um, housing development now, but there is still uh, some NHS buildings on, on the site. There's a little bike gate you can see on the right there, if you happen to be going the other way. Going straight across. This is where the local buses terminate, so there's quite often a bus sitting at the bus stop up here, waiting for the return journey into the city centre. That's the old Nether Edge Hospital building there. Here's a more busy road coming up, so we have to cross that with care. Another nice little cafe on the left here. 
as we start off on Union Road there's the Union Pub which is a nice local suburban pub in this fairly prosperous middle class area of Sheffield and now we're on Cherry Tree Road Merlin Theatre on the right down there. Okay, coming up, we're coming up to Salter Lane here, and what we're going to do there is we're going to turn left and then immediately right to go down Bagshot Street. Just see Bagshot Street on the left there. So. Okay, this is quite steep, so take care as you go down. Obviously, if you're coming the other way, it's a bit of a pull up there. And we're coming out onto Shara Vale. down the hill you could always pop into the Jaguar showroom there and we're coming to Shara Vale very popular little shopping centre lots of local shops uh, Seven Hills Bakery on your right and we're going to turn right onto Hickmot, Hickmot Road at Roney's Butchers quite a good butchers there if you're into meat eating And your next turn will be on the left onto Neil Street, which is a contraflow. So, yeah, you could have traffic coming towards you. You need to get round, and there's also um, a road coming out from the left, so people might be coming out from that and not actually expecting to see a cyclist coming the other way. So, just keep an eye out for that. This is the contraflow bit at the end. Okay, and Hunter's Bar coming up dead ahead. So I'm just going to pull into this little cycle lane here and stop. That's the end of this section of the video. Hope you found it useful.